Carolina Insider is presented by Wells Fargo. So after 30 minutes in Keenan Stadium, the game was tied 17-17, Carolina and Notre Dame. Really a lot of offense in that first half. The second half was dominated by defense, and we'll get to some highlights of that in just a second. But Mac Brown, heading into the halftime locker room, was optimistic about his team's first half performance. We'll start with that, second half highlights, and some postgame reaction after that. We had awful field position in the second quarter. They did a we did a better job of getting a couple of stops on defense, but their punters put it at the three yard line twice. And then we've really hurt ourselves with penalties. A holding call would have gotten us down to about the 20 that that we messed up with. We've had a couple of defensive calls that, that we need to clean up. So, uh, but we punted the ball well enough to the other end. We're trying to fight field position. Hey. We're even with the number two team in the country, so have to give our kids a little credit. But I, I want to see them settle down and play. We're dropping balls, no penalties. Forget the environment. We haven't been here before and go play. Very odd. There should be no reason to lose your foot, footing on this turf. It's, it's totally dry, outstanding surface, good traction. So Carolina has to kick it away, and Kiernan rockets one down the field, hits it to 14, rolling inside the five. It will be down at the three. Tied game at 17. Iris keep it on the ground and nothing doing. As Tyrone Hopper with the first contact. 8.50 to go third quarter. Notre Dame chewing up some clock on its first drive of the second half. Game tied at 17. Book going to try one deep. Dangerous throw and broken up. McMichael with a big collision between the numbers and the sideline near side. They're already inside the red zone after one play. Book rolling out, completes in the flat left side, but a good quick tackle by Gimmel. Dropping down Tommy Trimble, the Notre Dame tight end for no game. Heels bring some pressure. They flush Book out, throws off his back foot, and it is well out of bounds, incomplete as Surratt and Book ended up on the deck at the end of the play. Good pressure there from the heels, forced the veteran to throw it away and bring up third down. Big play here, and it's going to be a Book run. Steps through one tackle, but the contact by Tamari Fox, enough to trip Book up. And he does fall forward to the 14. Dorer made a 32-yarder at the end of the first half to give Notre Dame a 10-point lead. Carolina darn near blocked it, and he missed it. Missed it wide right. Grimes came flying in to bother the kick. no foul for running into the kicker. The defender was blocked into the kicker. Irish will have to snap it once more. They do so. Book takes the knee, and that will do it. A competitive game here in Chapel Hill, but Notre Dame's experience and physicality wins out in the end as the Irish improved to 9-0 on the year, stretched their winning streak to 15 games going back to last season, the longest in the FBS. And the Tar Heels will leave disappointed with the result. They've certainly taken some steps forward, but as today showed, still have some strides to go before they get ultimately where they want to be. We felt like we could run enough that we could protect better than we did, uh, but you, you can't rush for 87 yards and have six sacks and, and beat anybody, much less a really, really good football team. So um, give Notre Dame credit, they're, they're really, really good. Uh, when they stepped up in the second half on defense, they, they really stepped up. I was really, really proud of our defense uh, and our kicking game. That's by far the, most, uh, the best either one of them have done. Uh, our defense kept hanging in there and hanging in there, and our kicking game gave us great field position. Um, and our offense was really, really good the first half. I actually thought we'd win the game, and then Notre Dame just absolutely shut us down the second half. I'll let Phil tell you after he watches the video uh, with the offensive staff what happened. Um, you saw it. I saw it. Looked like they whipped us up front, and um, they, they got too much pressure on Sam, didn't have enough time to, to get the ball to the guys, and we knew that... Uh, uh, we knew that was an issue. Yeah, unless we could run the ball well enough in this game, we knew that we couldn't protect well enough to get the ball downfield, and we had to throw the ball to win the game. We knew that. And uh, uh, give Notre Dame credit for, for getting that done.